in our hands. Board the Grand Cipher. Step in a flight. It's been roped off as a danger zone, which isn't on at all. The church is headed there for yet another altar. How God. All of Zegagra. Primal beasts are a force to reckon with. But we can't let Avia keep exploiting Lyria's power. If they force her to commit atrocities, once this is all over, she'll never forgive herself. Thick black smoke blankets the sky. Rivers of fire flow below. Yeah, pretty much the perfect stage for a fateful showdown. Well, here's to hoping we make it out in one piece. There, we're moored. Red ships shouldn't see us from here. We'll hit them before they know what's coming. I'm not the only one who saw that big-ass fire geyser, right? No, we all saw it. Only a primal could pull that off. Then it's clear that's where they've taken Lyria. Prepare for take... It means the volcano is close to erupting. How are you so calm? Lava is not how I want to go out. And what about the Grand Cipher? Of course, I want to go rescue her, but I just. Ugh. I saw how they handled Excavalion. They could be my best bet going forward. But we'll be stranded here if we lose the ship. It would all be for nothing. All right. I'll take the helm and fly the ship to safety. Once the area stabilizes, I'll come back to pick you guys up. You all go on ahead. Sorry for the trouble, Roland. Sure you don't mind? Not at all. Besides, since when has Mr. Fixit ever let you down? Ah, before I go. Vern, do you mind showing me the catalyst? Wait, right now. Activated it. Hold it near Lyria, and it should release the lock on the collar. And that'll give us a fighting chance! Thanks, Fixit Dude! Hmm. Time to part ways for now. Danger lurks around every corner in this place, so proceed with caution. Don't worry about us. You just focus on keeping the Grand Cipher safe. Come on, everyone. We need to hurry. I'm sorry, Skyfarers. Lilith was my responsibility. We'll share some apples when you come home, Lyria. Goodbye, world. No one survived in that. Hey, you guys notice anything different about Roland? Not really. I mean, I guess he seems kind of tired. He's helped us out of more jams than I can count. Let's get him something nice once this is over. Oh no! Ah. We're, We're in the 
Beast is nearby. Of that out 
dropping. It's our only chance. Now's our chance to close the gap. Wave in half? Don't know whether to be grateful or terrified. Both, I guess. I think it's kind of like we can avoid the magma by hiding behind the rock. It looks like they've come to an impact. Now we can join the fight. Another wave is coming! Chase is afoot. It's running scared because it knows the catalyst worked. Our next encounter will be its last. You know it. I'm going to give Lyria the wake up call of her life. How'd they get down there? down this guard, you'll need my help. All right. We'll work with you for as long as our goals align. I still don't like the idea of being up this loser. Never can't be choosers. Let's patch you up. Catch it! 
Having second thoughts? Maybe there's hope for you after all. I know! Don't go in the town, you guys. I'm exhausted too, but we're almost there. We've overcome so much. This molten chamber will not be our tomb! It's over! Bring it! Prominent plan! Get in there and do some damage! Get your head out of the clouds, kid! Don't you want to save Lyria? Feeling conflicted? Alright, here we go! A moment of truth! Finish it, Vern! Leave it to me! of us all. Here I see a troop of puppets flouncing about in a play with no audience. And your bond with the shaman? It's threadbare. Little more than a thin line of hope. Fear not, and trust me with your strings, and I shall deliver salvation unto you all. I know this is much too sudden for you to comprehend. But don't struggle. Embrace it. Pitiful fool! Face your judgment! How nice of Avia's leader to come greet us herself. Saved us the trouble of tracking you down. My dear, I'm not looking for a fight. I've come to extol the virtue of salvation. Such a lost little lamb. She's screaming with power! Salvation. I'm afraid to even get close to her! This'll show him! Unbelievable, Nana. And what's that black aura coming off of her? See you! The ordeals of our pilgrimage are nearly at an end. Your crew is largely to for that. If not, it's my vision. And salvation shall come. Isn't it us? Is it us? Break it for us! Jeopardy! Go on! To a transcendent future! We don't need your phony baloney philosophy. As skyfarers, we put our you faith in a free sky! You humility! Winter of your life has come! Farewell. The time has come to pen a new chapter in this saga! <laughs> This has been a long journey, but a fruitful one. Now, open the gates and bask in the light of paradise. S stop! What are you doing? No, we'll all be... Why 
must you reject salvation? Do you not see that it is the perfect course? You dare defy me to the end? I'd rather not harm you. That would not be in the shaman's best interest. So I ask, judge for yourself the miracle of my salvation. intrigued as to how you were able to activate the catalyst. Although, I suppose it no longer matters at this point. With the primals in my possession, I've won. Cage. My powers are useless against it. Damn it! We didn't come this far to get put in time out! There is still hope left. Roland? You did this? Of course he did. And now even Vulcan Bola has fallen into Lilith's hands. I can't stall any longer. The fate of the skies calls upon the might of your crew. Will you fight to save it? Roland, I'm not sure if I like where this is going. Yeah. Tell us what this is all about. Of course. But first, your injuries need tending to. Let's return to the ship. The time to reveal the truth has come. Well, the floor is all yours, Roland. Thanks. First, I want you all to take a look at this. That's the beast from Tempeel. Furikin. Lilith released the primal beasts from their slumber, and stole their powers. Those powers now flow within Lyria. She's essentially a living storage vessel. <laughs> the Astral Realm is Lilith's home. One way back is to restore the Forbidden Primal. Angra Mainyu. I hope I'm wrong, but... She plans to feed it the other beast's powers. Just how big and nasty is this my new thing? It's the primal beast of gateways, allowing all kinds of travel between any two points. Distance doesn't matter, so in theory, one could even pass through to the astral realm. It doesn't sound that evil to me if all it does is open a bunch of doors. <sighs> if only it were that innocent. The problem lies in what's needed to open a gate. You see, the gates require energy proportional to the distance between them. Now, let's pretend we want to open a gate to the Astral Realm. In this case, distance is secondary. Now we're discussing interdimensional travel. So, energy-wise... Yes. An extraordinary amount will need to be consumed. And that instantaneous consumption will trigger grave repercussions. At best, Zega Grande would be reduced to nothing in the aftershock. 
At worst, most of the Sky Realm would cease to exist as we know it. There's no way that's possible! Then let me tell you a story. Fifteen years ago, Lilith revived Angra Mainyu. She attempted to open the gate to the Astral Realm. Fortunately, for whatever reason, she failed in her scheme. But a number of islands weren't so lucky, and they were rendered uninhabitable. Survivors of the incident are forever cursed to live their lives with unending trauma. That's awful. You see now? She won't give up. She will utilize the power of the Four Primals and attempt to cast open the gates once more. And the only thing waiting for us on the other side of those gates is sheer destruction. We can't allow history to repeat itself. There's something I'd like to ask about this woman, this Lilith. She's an astral, isn't she? The potency of her powers and her obsession with the astral realm give her away. <sighs> the astrals. The invaders who once ruled over our skies. You are correct. Mm-hmm. Well, it takes one to know one. Oh. Unbelievable. I suspected as much a while back. You know a great deal about this Skydom, things that no ordinary person should know. I'll be damned. A real live astral right under our noses. <laughs> Sorry. Can't blame a guy for being on edge. Is that. Those are obvious raptors! You're kidding! They really chased after us? They couldn't have mobilized a hunting party this quickly. Of all the times to hound us, they choose now? Well, they're here. Less talking, more blasting! For more peace and flight. How did they find this route? Yeah. Looking good. Yeah. It's those interlopers. Stage formation. We must take this ship. They seem just as surprised as we are. It might be a coincidence. All squadrons, you to kill. Lady Lilith has decreed these heathens be purged for their nefarious schemes. Unfortunate timing on our part. Stay alert for more. It just occurred to me. There's only one destination at the end of this flight path. Tell us we're headed to the same place as these jokesters. Indeed. And let us discuss particulars after we have saved our hides. These goons don't know when to give up. It seems conviction is a strong motivator. Well, when you got an astral yank in your chain. Glorious assault, comrades. I guess so. Go get them! Looking good. <laughs> Just like that. Follow me. Cut the dog. Finally, that was the last of them. Looks like Obvious already making their next move. I must take action. Wait, I just want to be super sure. Are you really an astral? <laughs> you wouldn't be the first. We've met other astrals before. Loki and Mikaboshi, if those names ring a bell. They have their own particular philosophies. But you seem different from them. I know, right? It's like Fixit Dude actually wants to be a part of the Sky Realm. Indeed. It was no act when you risked life and limb to save the people of Folka and Tempil. I'll be honest. I once viewed Sky Dwellers as insignificant, but that all changed. Many years ago, the first friend I ever made in this world taught me a valuable lesson. 
they said there is strength and solidarity. Understanding can overcome adversity. Help us grow. Volga is now my home away from home. The people there are like family to me. Sadly, we experience longevity on different scales. If I were granted one wish, it'd be to stay with them forever. At the very least, I want them to be happy. I'll do anything I can as an astral to protect the populace, to protect the islands. And I'll stop Lilith, no matter the consequences I must suffer. We understand how you feel. The Sky Realm is our home, too. So you can count on us. I guess even Astros come in all kinds of different flavors, just like Sky Dwellers. The same can be said of Primal Beasts. <laughs> Kinda weird having an Astral watching our backs for once. But I won't complain. Thanks, everyone. I'm sorry I haven't been up front with you all. I suppose I was acting out of cowardice. I was afraid of your reactions if you learned I was an astral. We're in this together. <laughs> Captain. Thank you. <laughs> yes. With Roland's aid, we'll surely stop Lilith and rescue Lyria. Angramanyu's real body is in an altar beneath Seed Hollow Castle. Yikes. There's a sinister primal lurking right under that huge city? Yes. And I'm the one who sealed it down there centuries ago. But if Lilith found Angra 15 years ago, that means the seal is... Broken. When she squandered away Angra's power, she failed to capture its true form as well. I'm certain it's still in the altar somewhere, camouflaged by its gateway powers. Ah, so that's why you stayed behind in Seed Hollow. To find the damn thing. Indeed. Unfortunately, my search turned up nothing. However, the moment Lilith summons Angra's real body, that may be our chance to strike. I warn you, she and I are equally matched. But, lucky for me, I've got the better team. Obvious, no doubt getting closer to the castle. There's no time to lose. We'll gear up in the city and make a run for the altar. Or else these skies are done for. Oh, we've suddenly found ourselves caught up in an astral tug of war. Decades in the making. The relationship between Lilith and Roland remains unclear. But one thing is certain. Roland is our greatest ally in Zega Grande. And with all the good he's done here, his love for Sky Dwellers is plain as day. Together, I know we'll stop Lilith and ensure Angra Mainyu's gate stays closed. We will protect the Sky Realm. Seed Hollow is burning. Another victim in Avia's desperate mission to return to the stars. This all started because I brought Lyria to Zega Grande. And now our battle is intertwined with the fate of the Sky Realm itself. We need to get to the heart of the city and fix the damage that's been done. Whoa! Is this even the same city? No time to assess casualties, I'm afraid. Not when we know Avia will make a beeline for the castle. I suspect we'll face a tough road ahead. Everyone, prepare yourselves accordingly. Skyfarers! Over here! There you 
you are! I'm so glad you're all safe! Thanks for the assistance. I would never abandon one of Zeka Grande's most vital trading hubs. It's not in my nature to watch a crisis unfold from the sidelines. By the way, Captain... I don't know if you've heard, but the castle is under attack by the Church of Avia. That forced each of the city's wards to declare temporary lockdown. I'll be around until the brouhaha settles down. Give me a holler if you need anything. We can't let Avia get away with all they've done. Take this, and go show them who's boss. Down there, Sky Fairy. already? Look, you've scratched my back in the past, so I'm willing to give part with some intel, free of charge. Regarding the city, my people are out surveying the damage as we speak. Early reports suggest, strangely enough, that Avia isn't focused on taking out the commercial district. Instead, they're concentrating on one area and one area alone. The castle. Considering they've got a force of 5,000 strong, you'd think they'd try to occupy more. But here we are. In addition to the ground troops, they've got manned and unmanned aircraft to boot. Not to mention, the Silver Wolf Corps and the Sword Veil vale seem to be acting in concert. First time for everything, huh? To be completely honest, the whole thing makes me mad as hell. I'd like to jump into this circus and pound a few chumps myself. The city's well-being comes first. You just go smack their leader a good one for me. Got it? We'll all sleep better once she's out of commission. 